We all know that Lila is a very good liar, but we never expected that all this time she was lying that her true name is Cerise, that she wears a wig and lives a double life, from her identities to having three moms and a secret lair. There's much more to discover about this mysterious girl. And what if I told you that Lila or Cerise could be Manoon from the future? Would you believe it? Theory number one, Lila is Manoon from the future. I know it may seem crazy at first, but that's how the theory of Adrian being a Senta monster started. And it turned out it was true. Okay, we know that they both have a similarity in their appearances. They both have dark brown hair, the same skin color. They both have brown eyes. And Manon wears a t-shirt with light violet flowers pattern. Which in Portuguese, the color has a similarity with the name Lila. Personality. You must be saying not enough proof. But another thing they have in common is their personality. Manyun, as young, doesn't get enough attention from the mother, Nadia. She is a journalist and probably it takes a lot of time. She doesn't have time to be with Manon because she is always working. That's why she asks Marinette to babysit her. Growing up far from the mother could cause her to be more arrogant and more independent. That would explain why she is like this, if she is Lila. It's the same case as Chloe's. She didn't get many attention from her parents and grew to become spoiled and behave like a child. Are you still doubting? Okay, in episode Collusion, we could see Lila's investigation board, and on it, it had photos of the people for her evil plans. But why is Nadia on the board? We've never seen them having contact during the whole show. And another confirmation is that Lila is in Sabine's painting class, which Nadia is having classes there too. Convinced? Both of them like to manipulate and control people. The way the puppeteer used to control her marionettes is the same way she controls people she treats as her marionettes. They are both liars who lie to get what they want, and coincidentally, we've never seen their dad. Apart from Time Tagger's script was taken, and the scene was from Time Tagger saying, The Hawk Moth of the future is a woman. Way more powerful than you. She's the woman I love. We know that Chris has a crush on Lila, but who knows during the time him and Manon were teenagers, they started liking each other. How did she come to the past? Why and who helped her? We wonder how did Lila come to the past and why would she do that? We know that she would need to use the bunny miraculous to travel trough time, but we know Alex would never allow Lila to use the bunny miraculous. Alex knew about everything. She even knew she would fight with Time Tagger. There's no chance she would give to Lila un unless Lila used someone's help. And that person is... Drumroll, please. Time Tagger. You must be asking why Time Tagger? Let me tell you why. What if Time Tagger was acumatized by Lila just to distract our heroes in the past and use his powers to travel through time? and even crazier get revenge from Marinette because she didn't used to give her what she wanted when she babysit her. Tell me in the comments if you liked my crazy theory. And tell me if I missed something. Thanks for watching. Bye, Miraculars.